Our comedian this evening is an up-and-coming talent who has been described as a vastly cheekier Jerry Seinfeld. We are very happy to have him here with us tonight. Please give him a hand. It's Tony Besselink. <laughs> Hi everyone, hey everyone, hope you're all uh, going well. I've uh, lately I've been trying to decide whether or not animals or humans actually have better lives. Like I've tried to work out all the perks I enjoy about being a human. I've really only come up with two things, right? The thing I enjoy the most about being a human is that it is highly unlikely I'll get eaten after sex. <laughs> like that I think is a really big benefit. I mean, like, I, I think a lot of men sort of take that for granted. So I'm gonna be the one to say, ladies, thanks for not devouring us for sustenance. <laughs> You know, you girls are a lot better than spiders. Uh, but the other thing I like about being a human is that, unlike animals, we actually do things with our lives. Like, look at all the things we've accomplished that animals will never achieve. I mean, we created art, right? But not only did we create art, we are the most efficient at art. Like, it would, they say an infinite amount of monkeys would write the works of Shakespeare. It took us one guy. <laughs> like, whoever he was, he kicked an infinite amount of monkeys' asses. <laughs> Like, we're just so much better. I think art is amazing. I love that someone can create something which makes people feel so many different things. You know, like, art can make us feel sad. Like, when a painting falls off a wall and kills someone. Like, <laughs> that is some deep art. That is thought-provoking, right? Uh, but I think uh, we all mostly write art just to sleep with each other. Like, that's why I wrote these jokes. But, uh, I mean, look, Wagner wrote a symphony for his wife. Like, Eric Clapton wrote Layla for George Harrison's wife. Uh, <laughs> Van Gogh actually cut off his ear and gave it to a prostitute, and surprisingly, that's the most romantic of the three, right? Because <laughs> if you think about it, having a song written for you is nice, but it doesn't tell you anything, because there's no limit to how many amazing songs an artist can write. Like, Clapton could have written a thousand different songs for a thousand different women. But when Van Gogh gave his ear to that prostitute, essentially what he was saying was, Honey, you're in the top two. <laughs> What I've done for you, I can only do one more time, so you'll never be worse than second place. Like, now that, I think, is romantic, surely. Um, so, I, I think one of the other greatest things we've ever done, we've had a lot of scientific achievements, and I think the greatest thing we've done is we discovered cake. <laughs> Like, how the hell did we discover cake, right? And I say discover, because there's no way we invented cake, right? Because an invention implies you know what the end result is going to be. And a cake looks nothing like the ingredients that go into making a cake, right? You know what we were smart enough to invent? Salad. Salad is an invention, cake is a discovery. And here's how you tell the difference. <laughs> If you took a salad back in time, before anyone had ever seen a salad, and you showed it to someone, they could still reverse engineer the process of how to make a salad. <laughs> right? They would look at you and go, clearly you've just put lettuce and tomato in a bowl. Like, <laughs> well done, is this the wonders of the future we have to look forward to? But if you went and took a cake back in time and showed it to someone who'd never seen a cake before, they wouldn't have a clue where to start. You know, they would look at them and go, well, clearly this is just made of cake. <laughs> Like, that's all it is. I'm breaking it open, there's just more cake inside. Like, there's nothing else here but cake. Like, you have a new natural element here. We need to add this to the periodic table. Like, bunch it up, put it next to boron or something. I don't know, like, this is amazing. And now, uh, that's all I got, guys. Thank you, thank you very much. You've been wonderful. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be back with music from John.